Okay, here it is. Is this one. This is a fragrance I own. This is um, Lancome's Treasure Midnight Rose. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. This is one of my all-time favorites. And this has pretty much the same notes. I remember really liking this and wearing it and being like, this reminds me of something. And this is what it reminds me of. I can do a side-by-side -side just to... I'll do the other wrist. Yeah. <laughs> They're so similar. They really are. Like, you know what, actually? This is like... This is the daytime version of this. This is the evening. This is like the evening version. And this is the daytime, more casual, like work appropriate, office appropriate, very casual. Like it's perfect for now. Like whether you're working, you're an essential worker, whether you're at home, you're running errands, just running to the grocery store. This is really, really nice. And this, I mean, I used to love this. I mean, I still love it, but I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of it since pandemic because I feel like this is a more special occasion fragrance. But they pretty much share a lot of the notes, so you can get, definitely get that berry and that jasmine and that rose and that musky wood dry down, um, which I love in, in fragrances. So those are those um, two fragrances. And then the next, sorry, I just love, 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 love that. Okay, so the next fragrance I have for you is this one. <gasps> Guys, this has been such, look how much I've already gone through this and I didn't, I haven't had this for very long. This is um from Burberry this is um Brit Rhythm I'll spray that as well I didn't write the notes for this one um oh my god but I know there's lavender in this and it's very powdery and it's absolutely gorgeous so I did pick up this at Marshall's this was $30 this is a 30 mil they had the 100 mil for like $50 and I so 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 regret not getting it because this is a complete in love the longevity is great the sillage is wonderful and guys this is like exactly 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 like I mean to my to my nose and how it sits on my skin it smells exactly like Guerlain's um insolence in Sloan's. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they share a lot of the same notes. I know violet is the like purple kind of flower in, in that fragrance and, and it's lavender in this one, but they have that same beautiful powdery kind of dry down. And I saw in Fragrantica, people are saying the same thing. I remember when I sprayed this, I was like, oh my God, what does this remind me of? And that's exactly it. Like this is like a total dupe for uh, In Salons from Guerlain. So a lot of people were saying, don't even bother with Guerlain because this is such a cheaper alternative. So, I mean, if you see the big bottle, go for it. I, that's one of the regrets for me. So that's that one. And I love, love, love this one. And then the third and final fragrance I picked up is this one here. This is from English Laundry. It's Oxford Bleu Femme. So this is an interesting one. This one I actually uh, came like, uh, like a tester bottle no cap I just threw a cap on here the cap I'm actually really sad that it didn't come with the cap because it was um, quite beautiful like I saw it online um, and this is a nice hefty bottle I have no idea um, like what size this even is because it came unboxed but this was also $20 and I thought that was a really good deal because um, online it retails for a lot more and I saw it at Shoppers Drug Mart also for a lot, a lot more. Sometimes the men's fragrances, I've seen them go on the $20 shelf um, at Shoppers, but not this one. And um, I'll go ahead and spray that. Where haven't I sprayed? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's the insolence. No, it's not. It's for free. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is so lovely, guys. This, this has, oh, I have the notes written down for this. So this is... There's a lot going on. So this is um, pineapple, melon, violet, rose, orange blossom, musk, vanilla, um, caramel, sandalwood. Yeah, those are the notes in this. And oh, as it's drying down, it is so beautiful. So one thing I will say, um, the longevity for me hasn't been that great, but it is such a beautiful fragrance. And this really, like if you kind of want to know what it smells like, um, aside from the notes, this has a really similar kind of vibe to, uh, you know, those Scottish summer perfumes. There's one in particular that I think the notes match it perfectly is Escada Turquoise Summer. So if you're familiar with that, but a lot of the, those um, Escada perfumes, the summer ones, they, they smell so similar. But so if you like that, I mean, I know the bottle kind of doesn't look like it would be like that, but 
this smells really similar to that and um, if you like those perfumes I think you would enjoy something like that I see these at um, Marshall's from time to time so um, definitely try it out because I think it's really lovely and I don't think it's really talked about a lot it didn't even have a um, what's it called a uh, listing on Fragrantica so that was kind of odd but um, this is really lovely oh my god that it, it's so nice I'm I'm really happy with this purchase I think it, it's really good value for the money I wish I had a cap but aside from that yeah these two are definitely winners love this one as well yeah that's pretty much the three fragrances I picked up the first two these ones are total dupes for like higher end this I can attest to because I have this one here yeah like this is this is just a, a little bit of a lighter version to this this is evening this is day but they're pretty much like they're cut sisters and then this is a twin for um Guerlain's Insolence and then this is it, it's got those similar vibes to um what did I say a Scotta Turquoise Summer so yeah that's pretty much the perfumes I picked up um yeah, if you've been, you know, finding any perfumes particularly comforting for pandemic or if you have any thoughts on the fragrances that I showed you today, definitely comment down below. I would love it if you subscribed if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Stay safe.